was it's been around for two years. Yeah. And it hasn't went anywhere. So right. So maybe with our support. Let's which one was that? The stairs? No. No, that's the um the walking path. Okay. But I didn't know it was on the other side of the so when I look closer, it's the blue, it's the blue lines. It was hard to hard to figure out exactly. Yeah, and that's all the gave me. Exactly. I tried to figure out exactly where it was too, without success. What do you see blue? Oh, okay. And our, ours went black and white, so we, of course we can't see everything. It should have come to you in color. Why well, white, right, but when we yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay. Here's a here it is for, uh, for us to look at again. And I did look at it too, like you said. Whoops, guess what? I got my sunglasses on, so I couldn't see if I looked. So, Thank you. It's hard to follow the Hello, Stan. So it's just a few times, but the green ones already exist. The green ones are sidewalks. Hello, Gwen. Hello. How are you? All of a sudden, I'm cold. Oh, no. That's because you're oh, walking huh. here. Oh, cooler here. And where did you figure this out? Is that this? Is that that hole right behind the? Uh, so they're trying to go path through the. So if you, the, the, these are the tennis courts, and if you go by the tennis courts now, there's a path that like stops right here. Okay. So they're just trying to continue that up. This is Fireman's Park Shelter. Okay. And this is the park. Oh, this is the shelter. This is the, like, the playground. This is the parking lot. Okay. So then it would go over here and connect. But then that they'll. So you could. We could create this cool little walking path right here. Not yeah. by traffic. Just. Wouldn't that be lovely? I love your hair. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. The green is already in yes. here too. Yeah, that's a current sidewalk. So that wouldn't be part of it. So it's a walking path, not a biking path. It's a, it's called a head bike trail. Yeah, that's what I saw. I, yeah. It was going to be six feet or eight feet. So, like I said, that's all they shared. <laughs> and at one time they had all that. You know, I, I looked at it a long time ago. Oh, so, you know, the proposal. And, yeah. 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 Did you get all taken care of? With yes, this? sir. I sure did. <laughs> they got it in? Yeah. Did you call them just to make I've sure? already paid for the ticket. Oh, Stan, really? can you hear us? Are you going to be able to get some parking? Right? Uh, Apparently not until August 18th. Oh. But I, at least he said I would. Yes. 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 You may have to do that. You may not have done it. Stan, can you hear us? Oh dear. Can you send him a message? That's a good question. Don't you just love technology? Well, where is my chat? I'm sure. That's what I was looking for. I'm, like, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Where we, where is, see, see, those are the ballparks, right? Yes. Or the, uh, this is the proposed path here. Hmm. Stan, can you hear us? In this park right here. That's Fireman's Shelter. Shelter. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Makes, makes that's sense. That's the uh, uh, playground equipment. Mm. Okay. Okay, so you can see us. Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> kinda, I thought I'd kind of play that. Oh, this one's too bad. I told him not to take that beer home with him. <laughs> can you hear, <laughs> can you hear <laughs> us? Can you talk? I'm trying to. <laughs> I want to know if we can hear him too. No, because I saw his lips moving and nothing. Well, I don't have a chat. Him and, you know, I don't see a chat there either. Stop. The bottom of the screen looks different. 
But we don't want you to talk too long because we got to be out here by six. Okay. So were you supposed to work today? Huh? I did work today. Delivering? Yeah. Um, why do we have to be having? Oh, there's well, another meeting in here. So, oh, this is a high demand room. Yes. Um, He's he lifted this something up, so we don't know what that was supposed to tell Can us. you hear us? <laughs> and you can't hear us, and we can't hear him. Oh, dear. Sign language. I know that we're making noise because look at that. We are going up and down when we make noise. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So funny but that you can't hear. Participants, because do we need to see if we're looking? We can add um, a participant. Should we go get the police chief? Maybe he knows how to do it. <laughs> well, I don't think it's on our end. Oh, okay. I think it's on Stan's end, but I don't know how to oh, yeah. say, oh, and here's Nancy. Now we'll know if, if she is, can hear us. Here comes Glenn. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Can you hear us? I can. Okay. Dave. Stan is not able to hear us. I was. He sees us, but we can't, but he doesn't. And we, we can't. can't hear him. <laughs> but he's got a piece of paper. <laughs> um, well, we can see him. I can, he, can, he can see us, I hope. But because Nancy can hear us and we can hear her, I don't think it's on our end. It's on our end. Yeah. <laughs> Can we, can I send an email or something to, yeah. message? Let's see if I can do that, if I can send him a, well, oh, Glenn, see okay. if I can send him a message to, to see if I can get it. Would you rather sit up here? It'll be the camera lens better. No. You got a purpose of that. Okay. Stand, let me get to stand, see if I can get to stand. Well, Nancy, we officially have a quorum. Great. Not quite, and I'm not expecting anyone else. The other two members of our committee are not able to make it. Okay. Do we want to wait and see if Stan can get in before we start? We we can. I, for whatever reason, can't find the chat feature in this version or on this computer screen. Um, do you see one of what you're looking at, Nancy? A chat? Uh, actually, I don't. Isn't that strange? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm not exactly how to, I don't know how to communicate with him without uh, him being able to hear us. Strange. But Judy's texting him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying anyway. Yes, everything. So good. Sure. What a great group. <laughs> we are, we are, you are a great group. <laughs> We'll see if he picks up on he me. might not have his phone with him. That's why I'm concerned. I don't know if he's got his phone or not. I'm trying. <laughs> he sees something. He's looking. Yep. Nancy, where are you zooming from? I am zooming from my house in Maine. Okay. Oh, that well, sounds wonderful. What is it like in Maine today? It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but it was a a, a work day for me. So okay. uh, and both on the house and uh, with my consulting. So, uh, uh -huh. but I was outside most of the day. I was actually uh, repairing two windows, which involved taking out the windows and Ooh. putting in new hardware and putting the windows back in. So, oh my, yeah. Um, well, it was I'm acting, a DIYer, if I can figure out how to do it myself. It's and these days it's really hard to get anyone to do small jobs, you know. I'm sure. Yep. So any response from Stan on the text? I'm not getting a response here, but he's okay. trying something. I can you can see he's working on it. Okay. Well, and he and Stan's um here representing the friends group. 
and we do have another representative from the friends group. Okay. And he's not he's not a voting member. So I think we could potentially get Go started. Okay. And maybe it'll just Great. drop right down. Great. <laughs> so. Then uh uh well thank you. This is my first uh official meeting in Alder. And I might add um just in case he responds. That uh, unlike Alder Home, Homequist or uh, Alder Groupie uh, or other Alders that have served on this committee, I would be a senior. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm happy to be here. I'd like to call the meeting to order of the Senior Citizens Committee of the Monona uh, Wednesday, July 26. And you, uh, you obviously have, Diane, you have the role. I do. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes from September 13th, 2022? I'll motion. John Anderson motion. Great. Do I have a second? Second. I'll I take one. Second. Any changes, corrections, additions to the minutes? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 The minutes are approved. Uh, I assume we have no one here for appearances. We do not. Okay, so we'll uh, move on to new business. Uh, the first on 5A being review and approval of First Amendment policy. So just a little his history of where this came from. Um, the city's insurance company, CIVMIC, Cities and Villages Mutual Insurance's company, did a training on First Amendment, uh, just First Amendment rights. And what that means is um, there's been a history of people who will walk into public buildings and want to record things and basically try to um, try to get you to infringe on their First Amendment rights. So um, that's what the training was all about. And they suggested that we develop a policy, which I did. So what this policy does is um, it it tells you what are the public places in the senior center and what are the non-public places. Because if you don't define that, then they can walk right into our office and videotape our, our computer screens because it doesn't say that this is not a public place. Um, so just looking at the policy, it's reviewing what the First Amendment rights are, um, talking about our policy. This is when we're open. This is where we're located. Um, and then I've attached a map of the senior center. Um, if you did it in black and white, it probably doesn't look so hot, but if it's uh, if it's in color, um, we kind of shade it off public and non-public spaces of the senior center. We've also put a label on you know, office doors that these are non-public spaces. I bet Stan's coming down the road and he'll be here in a minute. <laughs> so yeah. 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 So yeah, so any questions on, it's a pretty simple policy, but it basically protects, you know, any confidential information that might be in our, in our offices in case somebody comes in and wants to record whatever we're, we're doing. Okay, the one thing I want to bring up is if it's somebody disturbs, is disturbing, like if it's a movie or if it's a, a person doing a talk and they yeah. do is disturb, can you ask them to be please be removed or how do you do this? Oh, you mean like if they're making noise while yes. they're recording it? Maybe, um, you know, I'm, I'm not talking about recording so much as I'm talking about, you're talking about First Amendment rights, they, they want to talk, right, most of the time? Um, well, a lot of it's recording. They want to come in and record us and ask, like, ask us questions. And, and that's okay, they can ask us questions. They can't interrupt a speaker, that's just, we would go to our behavior policy for that. Okay. You know, it's not- So you have a policy. For we have a behavior policy for like interrupting and rude behavior, okay. so stuff like that. But this is mainly geared towards staff um, or anybody who works for the city. They've, they've had it happen here at City Hall huh? where they'll walk in and start videotaping or try to go to the, to the police department. And they really try to catch you getting angry and saying, you got to get out of here. And you know, and you can't do that because <laughs> it's their right to be here standing. We have to keep it open because people can come to our meeting. Okay. I know we're not used to that <laughs> in the senior center, it's quiet. Oh, yeah. 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 But this is just basically also to protect your information that, that is being hosted at the senior center, like the computers. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you know, we don't want to share 
people's information. Yeah. And we don't want them walking in the office and taking pictures of you while you're in the middle of doing whatever. It's right. not appropriate. Right. That knock of the door and no video. <laughs> Your office is de designated as non-public. Non 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 right. So, and I just want to make sure everybody realizes it means you, it doesn't mean you can't come in my office. It just means like you can't start recording things on my computer or private conversations. Like you don't have a right to come into my office if John and I are having a private conversation and record that. That's, that's not appropriate. All right. So, um, so Nancy, just a little background on the senior center. We're a state accredited senior center. So part of that is um, we, I try to make our center a little bit better every five years that we go through reaccreditation. And that includes like improving or developing policies that protect our center. Um, and this is one of those steps. So uh, sure. I don't just love creating policies. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> right. Sure. So, um, so are there any other questions about the policy or in, in the absence of more questions about the policy? Uh, do I have a motion? To approve. I move. I move that we approve the policy as written. I'll okay. second it. Great. And I will, and I will second it. Great. And we have a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Great. Thank you. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. I'm going to ignore it. Stan again. I thought I heard him say something. Yeah. Um, great. Sorry about that phone ringing. Um, so I have a review and approval of, of the Monona Senior Center 2428 capital budget. Next. Okay. So um, for those who have been on senior committee, some of this is a review um but this is so we're looking at replacing our tables next year um in the amount of five thousand dollars and the description kind of goes through how long um we've had our tables we also got an updated quote from mighty light so they believe this is a good budget amount so it's bumped up to 4208 but with shipping and increases for next year we should be good our tables get really beat up they're hooked up and pulled down and they're out for the swim team and it's time. I did add an item for next year. Um, fingers crossed that we will get this renovation to the senior community center and the getting the stairwell replaced that it desperately needs. If and when that happens, we're gonna move the reception desk from our main programming space into the bottom of the stairwell that will open up into a Probably into a reception area. Okay. Yeah. So our current reception desk is designed to kind of block the noise from the programming mm -hmm. space, but we really don't want them blocked when they're in this in this open area. So I'd like to do a more low profile, um, a desk you can see above, uh, so that when people walk in that door, they can see the reception. So um, they're not cheap, but uh, so I'm. <laughs> Uh, putting $3,000 in the capital budget so we can get a more appropriate reception desk. Uh, we did talk to the architects to see if we could use this desk and like change the return, and they said we can't. So, will this also include fixing our stairs? So, that's supposed to be in this year's capital budget. Yes. We just need somebody willing to do the work. The city council has approved that, and um, okay. but finding somebody to do it's been a challenge. We're still, okay, we're still was... looking, huh? <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, what happened to the? I thought we were going to have a new room for the foot plank. That's part of this building renovation that we are looking for a builder to do it. Okay, so it's going to happen, but it's already Maybe. been approved. And it's already been approved. That's been approved. The money has been borrowed, okay. and we put bids out more than once, several times. Um, nobody wants and to nobody's it. taken it. Yeah. Um, too, too small. That's what I've heard. Or city work is more hoops than non-city work. <laughs> um, and we're trying to be like we're looking at some creative ideas. So, for example. You remember I wanted our restroom, the one restroom in the senior center that's 
unisex and handicapped accessible. It's the only one that hasn't been redone in the community center. I did get a quote separate for that one, and I, I pulled that out, and KSW, who did the quote, said we'd still be willing to do the work. So that's going to happen. It's okay. September 29th to October 6th. It's going to happen. Okay. But at least we'll get something done. <laughs> so, but the stairwell desperately needs to be done. It's just awful. So besides awful, is it dangerous? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's yeah. that's the whole reason that we started oh, yeah. the the concept of we needing this done. Well, it's, it's, this is dangerous. Are we going to have to corridor that off and not be able to use that? We're going to have to go. I don't think it. that's legal. You can't. Oh, yeah, yeah but I mean, it's, dang, it's dangerous. Right. Yeah, I mean, in, a, in the case of a fire, it's probably less dangerous to use it than okay. to use the elevator. <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, if it's dangerous, that doesn't sound good. That's to me, anyway. I, I, I use it, but, you know, you, like I said, you hang on to the, you hang on the railing and you pay attention to where the yeah. step is because there is nothing behind the steps. Right. They're all open stairs. And, and the city, and we've done everything we can thus far. You know, we have the money, we're ready to go, we have a plan. But you Nobody. can't force someone to build it. <laughs> you just have to find somebody who's willing to do it. So we'll get there. Um, yeah. Hope so. So that's 2024. Um, the 2025 project, I'm just leaving as a general $6,000 for an appliance um, update. We just experienced our second issue with our refrigerator today, so that might be ready to go by 2026. Um, appliances just don't last as long as they used to, but kind of a placeholder in case we need, we have some issues. Um, 2026, we're looking at office. Well, William, we'll come back to this um, yeah. the appliance update. I yeah. want to ask about the uh, now you've got a new dishwasher, and but I understood when I helped out that one time. Oh. It was yes. not that that's not really a dishwasher. It's, it's a, sanitizer. a sanitizer. And that so. actually doesn't need we just we got that. So, so we, that's a good correction. We could take, take that up. I was gonna ask but you I, take it off. wouldn't it be better to have something that you could actually just throw the dishes in there and sanitize it at the same time? Is that not possible or what? Um it sounds like you you had to wash the dishes before you put them in there. So our current sanitizer, we do need to rinse them before we put them in. You can't, it's not like your dishwasher at home that you can throw your dishes in with a bunch of food on them, right? Okay. That's not how a sanitizer works. So we have to rinse them, put them in the sanitizer, but they're done in 90 seconds. Okay. So they're reusable, really. <laughs> yes. The old way, you could get a certain number of dishes in, and three hours later, you can use those <laughs> dishes. So it would always be at night. So this is a better plan for us, especially okay. with sustainability. Okay. I just wondered because it didn't yeah. make sense when I was there that one day. And I'm saying you can't use a dishwasher to do dishes, or but it's you're talking 90 seconds for yeah. disinfecting, but right. you still got to clean them. And you just got to rinse the food off of them. Okay. And one of our biggest issues is um, dried on coffee from our from our coffee cups on a light colored cup. That is kind of an issue. Like I have to wipe that out sometimes before I put it in. But okay. if we get to get on things right away, but you know, sometimes their coffee sits there for three hours and by the time you come back to it. But overall, it's the best best source of sustainability for their for the senior center because we serve too many people to run the dishwasher once a day. Yeah. So, okay. but that that's a good correction. We do not need to put that in this list, um, but I, I kind of put this out here as like a placeholder um, well, in case anything goes. Everything's <laughs> so, going to be more expensive yeah, down the road. Right. You can't even guarantee that that would be enough. No, no. And, and I don't plan to replace something that's not broken. I just see our refrigerator down the road is causing me some headaches now. So in two years, I might be ready for a new one. <laughs> so, and, or sooner. Or sooner, but yeah, that, this is... When it goes, it goes right away. Unfortunately, yeah, that's why it's hard to plan for capital budget. Um, so 2026, something very similar. We're looking at office and other furniture um, replacements. I don't think our desks need to be replaced, but we are noticing some office chairs. Mine doesn't stay up every once in a while. I just, 
land at the lowest well, level. Well, getting a lot of use. They, you, you, they got, you got to replace those after yes. a right. couple yes. of years. Yeah. yeah. So that's all this is looking at. Um, but we don't have any uh, bariatric seats, if you know what those are, just a little wire seat for, for people who need that. Um, so looking to get one or two of those in the senior center. Um, and then the furniture that we have, we're starting to um, need to clean it. And we don't have the maintenance staff to do it for us. So it's it's us. We're getting a upholstery cleaner and scrubbing chairs and sofas. And, uh, Whatever happened to the person that did that kind of So the evening staff yeah. that we used to work like 2 to 10 or 3 to 11, um, we no longer rent out to any outside groups. Oh. So we don't have programming at night anymore. So we really don't need that. Ah. But we also lost a lot of cleaning because we yeah. have a maintenance guy, but he does no cleaning. Doesn't. And our and our contracted cleaning does like garbage and a once over. It's not a, they won't be cleaning carpets or upholstery or anything like that. So are we, should or we think about maybe purchasing a fairly good vacuum or some kind of uh, upholstery cleaner. Yeah. I could look you... into other city departments and see if they, I mean, there's that kind of furniture all over the city. I don't know how other people keep, keep those up, but also you can hire people to come in. There's companies that you can come in and do that. If you, had, if you needed to do sure. a lot of things, we might need to just do one time and have them come in and yeah. Do it clean because the chairs have been there for a while. Yes. Um, this says here office furniture. So our, our office chairs were 21, it will be 21 years. Mm -hmm. um, the lobby area furniture was purchased in 2004. So that's 20 years old. They're, they're in fine shape. Yeah. They're not falling apart. No, but they yeah. be cleaned. And this is a few years out. So we're just looking at it. But, um, <laughs> Outdoor space, I, I put this on here, um, be, and, and I don't know what this looks like or where it would go, and I just put a random $10,000 on there. Uh, I think seniors really like doing outdoor programming. When we do our ice cream socials at Fireman's Park, it's fantastic. People love it. Um, we have more, we just need more space, so why not go outside? <laughs> so <laughs> if, if we could develop a patio, uh, a lot of senior centers are doing this right now. A, a patio and a and a shaded area with mm -hmm. some. Does Wanaki have something like that? They'd be the first to probably do something like that. Um, the they do, but they always have. Um, the the latest Fitchburg is they just broke ground on one. Oh. I don't think we'll get one. There's is like sixty seven thousand oh. dollars, but um, <laughs> they have a really nice patio. I'm just looking for something simple, but you know, concrete is very expensive, and this is quite a few years down the road, but if we can develop some sort of outdoor space with shade um, in seating, that would be really great. Well, there isn't where? much, where's, where would you go? Where? You, That's you, what you, you got where? a fence <laughs> right there where the pool is. Right. And you'd only, you'd only be able to have so much outdoor space. Yeah, the best space for me would be that strange grass area between like the sidewalk and the sidewalk. <laughs> there's the sidewalk to go to the pool and then the sidewalk for Nichols. Okay. And then there's just this random grass area. Like in that big, it's all shade. Great patio area. We wouldn't even need an overhang because it's all shade. If the trees stay, it's already <laughs> shaded by trees. Yeah. <laughs> so, or expanding that current area that has the white table and the four chairs behind the community center sign. There's no shade there though. No. But that no. would be a nice space. Mm -hmm. Really close to the parking, also close to the sidewalk. We've got potential. So I was just concerned if you were going to head out the other direction. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> so yeah. things could be real change. There could be a lot of change because when the construction starts for the police and fire yes. department, you yep. know, and the city hall. And this know. is way down the road. So, so maybe they'll not, build this one. So, yeah, I don't know. We may not they may be using your building and we may have to rent some. So. Right. Or we may use their balcony if we got it one. <laughs> and this is why we don't borrow five years out. We will only borrow one year at a time, but we'll have the discussion for, for a few years out. All right. Any questions on any of that? You know, my dreams for the future. <laughs> We've been dreaming a lot of ideas. Stan is connecting to audio, I see. 
Yeah. Stan, can you hear us now? I can hear you, but you can't hear me. Yeah, no, 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 we can hear you. <laughs> we can hear you. I've been playing Ring Around a Rosie with my computer trying to figure out where I was. You hit the right button. Yay, Stan. Always the right button. Okay. So uh, any other questions about the, the budget, the capital budget? The most important thing is, is uh, well, it's all important, but the most important thing is obviously this year's capital budget, right? Um, and the amount of place yeah. that Diane is, priorities that Diane has identified for this year. If there aren't any other questions, do I have a motion to approve the capital budget for 2024 to 2028. I move, we approve it. Second. I have a second and a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Budget passes. Uh, discussion in support of the Winnequa Ped Bike Trail. Okay. So um, in your packet that I sent, if it wasn't in color, um, it didn't print in color. If it didn't print in color, that, that is very helpful. Um, but basically, this is a project that Jake in the Parks and Rec Department has been proposing for a couple of years now. Um, and I'm very anxious for it to happen. Um, so be, between the community center and Fireman's Park, there's, there's a grassy area and dump ball diamonds. And they've started a sidewalk that goes from the Nichols Road sidewalk along the sides of the tennis courts and it just kind of stops. So this map shows where it would continue on, go beyond the Fireman's Park shelter. And then they, there would be another path that would connect over by like one of school. I think this would be lovely for seniors. We currently have seniors who come to the center and play cards for a while, and then they like to go for a walk. And they will walk the Fireman's Park and walk through the grass and come back to the senior center. But how cool would it be if that were a, I, I don't think this would be paved, but it would be accessible, like a crushed rock type of thing. So you could use a real walker um, or a wheelchair, mm -hmm. um, but just a lovely walking. I think we could rotate programming around this, um, you know, maybe stop and do some exercise stations. I could see this being a fitness advantage. Um, so this, just so you know, is not something that we're putting in our budget. It's something that Jake's been um, trying to have happen. Um, and when I was looking for ideas, I said to Jake, well, can I put it in my capital? Like, I really want it to happen. Um, and he said, why don't you just have your senior committee discuss it, and we can share our support if it's something that we would like. But I was under the impression there was there was a creek creek there that, that they needed a bridge to go over across. Not with what he shared here. This is all. Um, when I have seen the original plan, I, I thought there was a, a bridge that needed to be somewhere in there. Actually, so I don't know if it's changed since then. But maybe it has. Yeah. Well, and what are the what do the pink dots? So, so yeah, so that that I don't think would be like a crushed rock or anything. That might just be a walking trail. Okay. But if you've ever been back there, it's actually quite lovely. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. And when we did our snowshoe hike, um, they brought us into this area, and there's a bench, and it's shaded. Um, it, and I do think seniors would have more access to it. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure how accessible that particular path would be, unless you're yeah. you know, ambulatory and and yeah. mobile. Um, but I think you know any part any part of this would really be an advantage of programming option um, for the senior center to take advantage of. So um, what we're looking for is if you guys think that this could be something that we would like to support, just a motion to support this project on behalf of the senior committee, and then as it'll just reflect in the minutes that this committee has shown their support for this project. I'll move. Okay. And I will second. Second. Great. Right. <clears throat> Any it's other questions? Happen, no. <laughs> John, have some optimism here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what we're here to decide. We're just here to support it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? 
All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we'll move to number seven, updates and discussion on diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging efforts. Yeah, so let me share a couple things with that. Um, in June, we had our first ever pool bash uh, where we had a senior focused uh, pool party at the pool. Our flyers and announcements were uh, translated in Spanish and we had a very nice diverse uh, group of seniors who attended. Um, New Bridge Madison helped us with uh, transportation for um, both uh, African American and uh, Hispanic people who didn't have transportation in, into Monona. And it was great. We had about 65 or 70 people there um, and really had a great time. Um, the other thing is our concert series just started two weeks ago and our first Concert was Rubaloo, I think. I don't know how you say it. Yeah, yeah, I think you did it correctly. But they're a, um, a salsa Latin uh, band and drew a very diverse crowd. One of our biggest crowds and one of the most diverse crowds we've ever had. So uh, kudos to the Friends Group for, for doing that. And um, I'm just going to throw in a sustainability. I, I'm throwing in DEI and sustainability at the same time. We talked about the, the sanitizer and how um, we have switched for one of our largest lunch groups. We do bingo once a month and we serve lunch for 48 people. And we do all reusable plates, cups, forks. So um, very little goes in the landfill from those events because of the sanitizer. So yeah, so that's been really great. Um, and we're getting used to it so we can do the process a little bit faster. And you probably got the nutrition site as well. Oh, and the nutrition site by far, that's every Friday. Um, now that's there, but yes, they also very rarely use disposables unless we have a really huge group. Yeah. Right. Any questions on any of that? Are you having enough volunteers for your uh, nutrition group? I think we do. Yeah, we and have a. Good there's not been trained. Yes. Okay, I'm just curious. There was one day when I had to lead it, and I said, "Give me all of your all of your helpers," and they were great. So, um, yeah. So that was yeah. So I think so. Because it's about four people per per time, isn't it? One, two, three. At least maybe five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like two work in the kitchen, two work for setting tables, and then one does registration every week. Mm -hmm. And is that now is that a diverse group? Is there there are other people besides whites and is there Spanish or there's black or I'm not sure that that's a very diverse group right now. Yeah. But there are a lot of nutrition programs in other communities. So. And but there are also there's a lot of people that are, are don't have a lot of money that pertain to this don't they correct yep yep and transportation is provided so if there are people in neighboring communities that would like to come to the nutrition site they could they could get a ride through the nutrition program have you ever had to turn anybody away so i don't deal with any of that okay. um because kristen handles it okay Yes, to be honest, at the door, we have some people who forget to sign up in advance and they walk in and they say, I want lunch. And if there's no lunch for them, they Because you, you ordered it in advance. They order them in advance. Yeah. 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 yeah, by 10 on Wednesday. By 10 on Wednesday. <laughs> but other than that, it's not, you never had to turn anybody away if they, if they are SVP. Correct. No, okay. and we have um, 37 people coming on Friday. So, you know, good sized groups coming. So, yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you. Um, uh, I don't have anything major to report uh, as a chair. I would say uh, just as a brief, first of all, uh, thank you again uh, for your service to the city and uh, and for and I, I'm just very excited that the mayor decided to appoint me to the uh, senior center and uh, it's it's great to um, see you all in action. I'm sorry I'm not there in person. It would be my choice or narrowly, but my summers are just crazy. So um, because of mostly because of work. Um, and um, 
and I and I guess I would add, you know, I'm also co-chair of the Transit Commission. And as a small update, um, you know, the tra last month or two months ago, sorry, um, the Transit Commission met with Madison Metro again, and we're scheduling a meeting with first students uh, for this month. Um, and we're continuing to work through our decision around transit. No decisions have been made at this point, but we're having good discussions with both. And um, and uh, so that's just a small update. Um, as always, our meetings are recorded in, uh, on community media YouTube uh, for anybody who's interested. Um, Nancy, could I ask a question? Lunch, sure. I want to know if there's a possibility that it could be some combination there or not, or is it going to be one way or the other? I think it's I think it's unlikely that there would be a combination because it's not it, it's just fiscally not possible. It would be way too expensive to run both. And um and the Madison Metro proposal is a package deal. So in other words, they oh would um they would not uh, just do service for our general citizenry without also um, doing the paratransit service and, and therefore taking, you know, taking the resources that we ordinarily allocate for that. So it's just not, it's just not, um, you know, as I'm sure you all know, because you've sat on this committee for a while, our, this is all operating budget. This is not capital budget. We've had some people say, you know, oh, well, you know, if we can afford San Damiano, why can't we do blah, blah, blah? Or if we can afford a new public safety building, why can't we do blah, blah, blah? And they're two, it's apples and oranges. They're two entirely separate budgets. Um, and transit is definitely an operating expense that we need to be able to carry annually. And so, um, so, so, um, you know, that's, and, and we obviously want it to be efficient um, and effective, um, but it also needs to be cost effective. So, um, so it's still, you know, work in progress, as was mentioned at the previous meeting. You know, at the earliest now, we'd be looking at doing anything would probably be March of 24, because it takes uh, from the time that we make a decision until the time uh, certainly that it, if that decision was Madison Metro, um, Madison Metro's indicated uh, that they uh, would need um six months or so to to um actualize the changes so um so at the earliest we're probably looking at march of 24 if we were to make the switch but again we haven't decided yeah i have two questions nancy yeah. on the surveys what kind of response did you get how many and then what kind of answers did you get for response and the other question is Financially, how are we doing currently with the with the system we have now? Yeah. So um, the in answer to your first question, um, the survey results were I would say very robust uh, compared to almost any other survey that we've done. Um, uh, I believe it was just under a thousand people responded, which is which is. Uh, mm -hmm a whole heck of a lot better, let's just say, than the last transit uh, survey that we did, um, which was more like 160. So, um, so you know, we, we really worked hard, to, um, put together a marketing plan across all channels and all media to really get the word out. And we had hard copies, as you know, at the senior center, as well as at the library and city hall. And um, so the, so, um, we were pleased with the results overall. Um, I would say, uh, the survey was on the simple question of 
would you like matter you know uh would you prefer madison metro or would you prefer monona express it was split virtually down the middle slightly uh, uh, slightly more um preferred going with metro um but that's just one of as you know because you took the survey of a whole host of questions um and um and so, uh, it, you know, obviously we have people that are very strongly in favor of Metro and we have people that are very strongly in favor of keeping Express. That's um, why we were asking for the options because they, we feel like the seniors are, yeah. set, are that lift. We like the fact that they're so flexible sure. and the price is, price is better. Sure. So that's kind of the big issue with, otherwise I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, uh, so we're continuing to work on it. I would say that one of the things that we're looking at, um, again, just as it relates to Metro, I'm not saying we're going with Metro. I'm just saying one of the things that we're looking at is the actual route that was proposed. Um, you know, one, um, the C3 route specifically, um, uh, and that was the route that took, you know, that took, went through the neighborhoods, right? And and one of the big concerns there, um, even if it's a, even if it was a perception, one of the concerns there is safety, um, uh, because you know we don't have a lot of sidewalks, and so one of the things that uh, that we're looking at, um, and that I originally actually um, thought of is instead of going all the way down Owen, um, that we would we would uh, the bus would go down Owen. Again, this is if Metro, um, if we chose Metro, but we would go down Owen to to St. Stephen's um, and turn right. At St. Stephen's, and our thought there was is that that would obviously ser serve the um, seniors that live in Heritage and live in um, and others that live in Monona Hills and in that whole area there, um, and in stop turning and stopping at St. Stephen's, that's also where the food pantry is and where voting is, so people could take the bus. Um, to vote or to to get food there, and go across on um, on down Pheasant Hill to Nichols, and then take a left to go down to the Civic Center, um, uh, and then uh, it would go from uh, on Winnequa, take a right on Winnequa to go to Dean, and then come up Dean. So by doing that the vast majority of the route already has double sidewalks because Nichols and Dean both have sidewalks on both sides and Owen already has a sidewalk on part of it. And the mayor's all, you know, already indicated that if we were to decide to go that route that, um, that she's asked public, uh, public works to put together an estimate of what it would cost to run the sidewalk on Winnequa from the turn at Nichols to and to the turn at Dean. Um, so again, the route, not to mention the small area by St. Stephen's that doesn't have a sidewalk yet. So the idea would be again that the, that there would be um, there would be sidewalks there, and I don't know what the price of that would be, but um, but I know the mayor's requested it from Public Works. So your second question was. Financial. financial financial about how how are we working with the budget versus the actual expense with first yeah well um you know as was reported initially the expense of madison metro versus the expense of uh first student um madison metro is marginally less um uh but um but i would say that this you know we're not we're not doing it for 
financial reasons as much as, um, I mean, certainly anytime we can save money, that's something that we need to take a look at um, as a city. But um, I would say that, that our interest in doing it is more um, around the issues of DEIB and issues of um, having uh, more available transit than we have now because the seniors are well served. Um, some seniors are well served by by um, per student, but you know it's also as we heard in in um, in the public information meetings, uh, not all seniors are well served, which is to say that it, it I mean, it, it, it is very convenient to get you around town, you know, around Monona and nearby Monona. But if you have to go to a doctor's appointment in Fitchburg, or you have to go to a doctor's appointment out at American Family, you know, at the geriatric centers, um, you know, that- or the, um, airport. Or, <laughs> huh? or the airport. Or the airport, right. Um, it, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't work. So, um, so anyway, I, uh, I would say it's sustainability and it's also just having transit more available more often for everybody, not just, um, and, and, and for those of you that may not have been at the public information meeting that was at the, that this, at the senior center now, I don't know, God, was it a year ago? Yes. A, long time ago. Um, a long time ago. I mean, one of the things that I was pleased to hear was that um, the person who manages paratransit for for Madison Metro said that they have in in her tenure, um, which had been three or four years, that they had not turned down a single applicant um, for paratransit. Um, and you know, I think. And you know, I hope that the information the, the, that we, they provided and the information they put together in the FAQs and and everything else has helped people um, understand um, their options. I mean, you 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 request it exactly the same way um, that you request the lift. You know, you call by four o'clock the afternoon before to schedule a ride to anywhere, and it's a small bus, just like Monona lift. Um, you know, they, in, in fact, you know, I know that the bus driver for the, for the Lyft and Express lives in Monona, but obviously there's a Badger bus driver that does too, because I, I go by the bus every single day when I'm going up Dean, <laughs> a, a Badger bus that's parked in, in front of somebody's house. So I, uh, just, just as the Lyft and Express is. So, um, and I know, Bar you know, Badger Bus is just one of the companies that they use um, to schedule paratransit. So, um, so that's really my uh, my only thing that I wanted to share coming out of other other committees. We have. Oh, I should, I can also share that. We're continuing conversations uh, around incentives and uh, and tools that we might use to encourage more affordable housing and workforce housing in particular um, in Monona. Um, as some of you may know, that's been a topic of discussion in a lot of communities. And, um, and uh, so we have, a, we just hired, just hired a new um, city administrator um, who's terrific, and uh, and we have our first meeting around uh, workforce housing, affordable housing on Friday, a Zoom meeting with a few of us to to solidify those things that we think that we can do to encourage de developers um, to do that to do the right thing. Um, it's as I like to say, it's not as easy as we think. If it was easy, it would have been done a long time ago. We wouldn't be short of housing or short of affordable housing um, if it was uh, if it was an easy thing. But we we definitely have some strategies we're looking at. So that's all I have. Is that helpful? Thank you. Glad yeah. You Thank you.
that takes us to friends of the Monona Senior Center report with Stan. Yeah, I'm so, I'm with you, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, finally. Um, and I don't know why my machine doesn't want to do what I wanted to do. Anyway, the friends have been very, very busy and pleased with what's been going on in our own network. Unfortunately, the demise of our leader, Kathy Thomas, and one of our other board members uh, kind of put us back behind the eight ball a little bit. But Sue Manning has now taken over as the president of the Friends. And David Jornson, one of our newer board members, has picked up the title of a assistant or vice president, I guess. And the spirit that they have uh, brought into the meeting is, um, I think, enthused a lot of us to dig in and say, okay, what's next? What do we do? Uh, we are also recruiting board, new board members, and we have two new ones on board right now that uh, other than our last meeting was their first meeting. Uh, we're pleased uh, at their contributions. They had more questions of us than we had of them, and that's good. That means they're invested in what uh, the board is trying to do. Um, Diana's done a remarkable job in uh, helping the Senior Center survive the pandemic and also as it is trying to grow out of its doldrums and into the new world again. Uh, we've had uh, some good uh, ice cream over there at the park at least once, and we're expecting another one this week or next, I believe. Um, and that's always a great turnout for a lot of people that typically I don't see at the board in meetings that are there, but they're showing up and that's wonderful. Uh, and they always are interested in what we're doing. Our concerts are have really taken off. Uh, our first run a couple of weeks ago, I had a large contribution uh, of people and a good contribution in our hats off or goodwill donation thing. Um, our last concert, which was this past Tuesday, also had a good turnout. Um, and we're looking forward to Carl Davick coming in with us on next week, Tuesday, with his more sophisticated concert type of an approach. Uh, and that was uh, commented on a lot as I wandered through the, the park participants and saying, well, where's Carl? You know, well, Carl's coming. And he's always been a, a strong supporter of our network and we're really looking forward to his presentations next week. And then we have a final concert in another two weeks, and we hopefully will have Mother Nature continue to shine upon us, other than maybe damp down the heat a little bit. Um, but um, from what we're seeing in the newsletter and with all of the things that are going on, we're looking for a, a very vigorous and busy fall. And thanks to Diane, she can hopefully weather it all. Um, but uh, it's always nice to have this an able director as her at the helm. So any questions for us? Can I, can I add one more, Stan? Yes, ma'am. How about September 24th, Let's Dance? Oh, yes. With Tony Rocker, our Elvis impersonator. Wow. Well said. She just said it. <laughs> OK. So I'm glad to have that. I had forgotten all about that. I'm not a Elvis Presley guy, um, but that's fine. We got other things. We have a lot of able singers that come through with different programs, uh, feeding different parts of the um, center organization. So any questions of me or the board? Diane? No. So, okay. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Stan. Um, that that takes us to Di back to Diane and the Senior Center report. I'm going to make my report two minutes because this room is in high demand and the next group is meeting at six. So um, I've shared with you the quarterly report, so you can take a look at that for second quarter. Um, we are the fortunate recipients of a grant through the Madison Community Foundation um, in support of assisting seniors and avoiding isolation. 
So that's going to support, it helped with the pool bash, uh, free pontoon boat ride in August, which is already full, unfortunately, renewing a Monona mix and mingle in October. So some great opportunities there. 2023 capital budget update. We're trying to do this audio visual update to the senior center. Um, it's equi it's uh, electronic equipment, so it's been on back order, but um, we're hoping that will happen soon. I'm really hoping before fall speakers that that happens. Um, we're gonna have a Madison College intern starting in the fall through the human services program. So she'll be there in the fall in the spring. And uh, just an FYI, scholarship requests from seniors are on the rise. So um, you know, there's definitely a need out there. Any questions for me? That's my what, two, what two minutes. What does scholarship request uh, entail? What, so, how much do you give, basically? Well, it depends on the request. So one of the things that um, it, uh, we're doing chair massages, They're, those requests are coming through, um, particularly from former Monona Hills residents. Um, that, you know, just kind of, they got a lot of stress going on. So, um, so some are coming from like, they live on the West side, but they're coming back for, for a chair massage. So our um, scholarships for, are for any senior center program and seniors do requests uh, in the friends group supports that. So, um, but it, we, we don't get a lot for several months, but we've had a flurry lately. So I think um, there's definitely a need out there. The only other thing is keep your calendars open. Nancy and I will be talking soon. We're going to be talking operating budget pretty soon. So uh, I haven't received that timeline yet, but once we do, we'll, we'll get another date on the calendar. Right. Yeah. We'll do. Yeah. Okay. okay. With that, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? So move to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Terrific. Thank you, everybody. Um, stay, stay cool. I uh, understand it's kind of hot there. It is. Yeah, yeah. And humid. Yeah, I need and to humid. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in person. Sounds good. Thank Next you. Time. Next time. Thanks again.